Well, it's about that time. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to be in God's house this morning. Amen. 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 I appreciate each and every one being here on this beautiful day. I mean, I ain't never seen such beautiful Carolina blue skies in all my life. It's just so beautiful out there. Amen. So. But you know what? I didn't even watch the game. I, I didn't even watch the game. A lot of people got. They said it was a good game. So, so I'm glad. I'm glad it's over with. But you know what? If we get as excited for the Lord as we do them ball games, what a great work we could do for the kingdom. Amen. 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 I was at home in my Bible reading. I got so much joy out of that. A lot more joy than I'd get out of a ball game. But I understand. I'm a sport. I like sports, but not like I used to. Amen. Wake up out there. I appreciate each and every one being here this morning. Uh, if, you, if you don't have a home church, I just ask that you pray about it. Seek God's will and guidance in your life. We would love to have you here at Emmanuel Baptist Church. If you do, ha if you do have a home church, please, by all means, listen, we'd love to have you here. But there again, if you're just visiting, if you got a home church and the Lord wants you, you need to be at your home church also. Amen. We need to be there. But we'd love to have you here, uh, as always. So just uh, see me if you want to join the church. I'd love to talk to you about uh, what, what's in store for the days ahead, looking at a lot of new things to come, and I just thank the Lord for that. Just a few updates right quick. If you would remember Teresa Layton, that's uh, Matt Hardy's mother-in-law. She had a really bad heart attack. She's up in Concord. I hadn't had any updates so far. Also, just remember little Aiden, uh, little Aiden uh, Hardy, uh, grandson there, uh, the great-grandson. Of Bonnie and, and the Roberts family over here. He's in Chapel Hill. Most of you know uh, he swallowed a battery. Uh, they, they was able to get the battery out. Uh, he was airlifted to Chapel Hill. Uh, so he's up there. So Lord willing, be traveling up there tomorrow. And of course, uh, little Colin will be having his surgery tomorrow, correct? Surgery tomorrow. So remember him in your prayers. Uh, so there again, there's, we have so many on a prayer request list, but I'm so thankful that the Lord continues to answer prayers and lives and testimonies we hear every week of God's goodness and his grace and mercy. Amen. Amen. With that said, if there's nothing else, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we do thank you once again for just another day for allowing us to be back into your house this morning, Lord. We thank you, Father, for this good number this morning, Father. And I just pray for those that weren't able to get here today, Father, for whatever reasons, Lord. I just want to lift them up to you now, Father. But as we hear our prayer request, and Lord, we just want to ask once again that you'd move in a great and mighty way there, Father, how you, uh, so many testimonies we have of your goodness, Lord, and how you've touched in the last weeks and months and years, Lord. And Father, I pray today, Father, if there's one here that has a burden in their heart, Lord, if there's one here today that don't know you as their personal Savior, Lord, that today would be the day of salvation, Father. Lord, we thank you once again. We just ask that your will be done during this service. It's all about you and nothing about us. And we just give you honor and glory for it all. And we ask it in Jesus' precious name. And all of God's children said, Amen. Amen.
got your bulletins. Just to go over a few announcements. If you look at those for just a minute, got several things going on. Remember, April 4th, there will be Bible school meeting at 6.30 p.m., 6.30 p.m., so remember that. We'll be having an Easter egg hunt here. The time will be announced. We'll have that in the next few days. Uh, we need some donations there. If you got any peeps or candies, I think we've got plenty of eggs down here in the building. We'll check on that. Uh, so we'll have more on that. But if you'd like to bring some of those little peeps, we're going to be doing a little th few things and uh, also some candy. And then also we might have a little bit of little booklet for them that I think you'll really enjoy, the kids will really enjoy for that. So be in much prayer for that. If you need any more information on that, see me, and we t can talk about that. Also, uh, remember sunrise service, uh, the breakfast will be at what time again? Sunrise service breakfast, when we eating? 7, 7.30. 7. Seven. Seven. How hungry you are, I guess it depends on how hungry you are. <laughs> Seven o'clock, so remember that. So you're going to start cooking early. Yeah. So remember that. And then, and then seven o'clock, and then service will be at 830. Sunrise yeah, we'll be having sunrise service. We'll have, I'm going to try to get all that together and, and have that announced here just in, very briefly. So also <coughs> remember, if you're here, we're going to be having a special baby dedication service on April the 24th. If you've thought about that and prayed about that and would like to participate in that service, please see me and we'll go over those things. Because as much as it is about dedicating your child to the Lord, it's even more about the dedication as parents to the Lord. Because you have a responsibility to have those children in church and bring them up in the admonition and love of the Lord. Amen? Amen. And then, of course, uh, we'll be having the blood drive in memory of, of, of Chase on April the 30th. Uh, the Fraley family will, will be staying after this morning and the, the evening services today and on the 10th, and they can assist you. If you want to go ahead and make an online appointment at that time, you can go in and get scheduled for that, and if you've got any questions about the blood blood drive concerning that. Institution. You want to say, talk, speak about that? Also, you'll see in your bulletins, of course, still, if you want to still donate for the Sunrise Service breakfast, see Bubba on Easter Sunday there. Also, you said if you got any extra pots and pans or cooking, frying, cooking, frying, frying pans, pans and all that stuff, you, you bring those. Also, Potter's Hand Meal, Wednesday to April 6th. Remember that at 530. All donations normally put in our jar will be used to support five children in our community with very serious health issues so uh, just remember that at, at our Wednesday evening service April the 6th 5 30 when we have our potter's hand meal those donations will go to those five, five children that have very very serious Ill health issues so remember that uh, I believe that's all I know there is a note in there I know we, we, the congregation continues to grow the kids continue to grow uh, here are the numbers uh, we've been making a lot of copies in the back uh, sort of going over our contract that we have 
So we'll be logging in. Whoever's making copies, please just write down because we may have to redo our contract. Praise the Lord that we get more and more, need more copies for more people. So I thank the Lord for that. And, and there again, you can see me concerning that or Mickey and Ellen on that. Choir practice tonight at 430. Saturday or Friday was such a blessing. As I said before, Pastor Pals, school's getting ready to get out. We're going to have more Pastor Pals days. But you know, as I called out and said, hey, we're going to have a Pastor Pals day Friday because of school break. It's going to be a Pastor Pals work day, work day. And even with work day mentioned, guess what? 21 young people showed up here at this church Sunday. And you know what? It ain't nothing I've done or nobody else. It's only God. And I thank the parents for them taking that time to bring their kids out to do that. Because as I sit here and tell you, the family got a blessing, but we got more of a blessing. We went down to Brother John Ed's house and, and got, had all the kids out there cleaning up the yard and, and sh they was doing things there. Managed to get them up on the front porch and we opened up the blinds and Brother John Ed was still able to look out and say, man, that's a lot of kids. <laughs> and he still would say, that's a blessing. And with tears in his eyes and Miss Mildred's tears in her eyes, they was thanking us for coming down there. Uh, that's the gospel, friend. That's mission work. And as poor as it is, as you might have seen my post, as, as poor as it is to go overseas, to go out of the country, to go out of state, to do missions work. Listen, there's plenty of missions work right here within our own congregation. I think the people of the church here need to be taken care of first before all that is dispersed everywhere else. Amen. Uh, that's my thoughts on that. But I thank the Lord for that. What a blessing it was. Uh, you just had to be in there to see those young ones working, never complaining. We all playing together. Went down and had lunch at the chuck wagon. Uh, and we just had a great day in the Lord. And I just thank the Lord for the parents for just allowing me and others here to, to just bring your kids here and just letting me just be just a little bit a part of their life and just showing the, the, the love, of, love of Christ. But what a blessing. What a blessing. All right, I think that's all. Oh, a few other things here. I know uh, on the birthdays, we're going to have a combination birthday cake ice cream night the, for, for April and May. That'll be the first Sunday night in May, correct? May the 1st, so remember that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll sing, uh, well, we can't sing. Well, we can sing it a cappella. Let's sing happy birthday to all of our birthdays in April. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, God bless you, happy birthday to you. Do we have any anniversaries for April? Any anniversaries? Raise your hand, any wedding anniversaries? Oh, yeah, we got several, don't we? Bless you, brother. I appreciate you. <laughs> Let's sing happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, God bless you. Happy anniversary to you. Amen. I think that's all we have at this time for announcements. All hearts cleared. At this time, the choir has another song for us.
And everybody said? Amen. 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 Well, this time as the choir is working their way home, thank you. If I can get everybody to stand, we're going to sing nothing but the blood of Jesus. Could at this time have our ushers come down for the morning offering? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, my Father, Father of all fathers, I want to thank you for what you're doing for each and every one of us allowing us to enter through these doors in your house, your kingdom. It's not our kingdom. Everything that we do and say, it's for you, Father. Amen. If only our words would be a little bit more stronger when we reach out to other people and say what you want us to say to them about you, not us, about you, Father, there would be a much better world. Yes. And, Father, I want to pray for our country and all the countries that we're going through right now, the turmoil and everything that's happening. Father, I want to give you praise and glory for each and every one of us. I want to take the uh, offering that we received today and let us build this kingdom, and not from just a little house or a prairie or whatever we think some of us think it is. It's your kingdom, Father. Let us amen. pray and be with you in everything we do and say in your name. Amen. 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 <laughs>
God is so good all the time. I tell you what I've shared with you so many times. I've been around many churches, and to see all the young people and the kids that are in this church, how they continue to come here, I thank the Lord for it. I want to hear, you know, I want to hear the pitter-patter of feet. I want to hear screaming, and I want to hear crying. Because whenever all that's gone, listen, your church is dying. Uh, your church is dying. So by all means, you know, I want to hear the crying. I want to hear the, the, the yelling. I want to hear the pitter-patter of feet because, hey, I can preach just as loud as any of that. And I thank the Lord for that. And I pray the Lord to continue to send us just bundles and bundles and bundles of kids here at this church. Amen. Well, this time we've got some special music, and I'm going to ask Sister Kathy if she come at this time and start us out. I know we have several this morning's specials. So, Sister Kathy, come on and share what the Lord's laid on your heart this morning. Morning, everyone. Being Easter time, I dug out some an old one. I haven't done it in about two years, I think. So, I hope you get a blessing from this. <laughs> She walked towards the place where he lay, her head bowed toward the ground, and her world was tumbling down. She could find no words to speak, still redemption was complete. If she
by the way, I'm thankful that we have a lot of young people that want to sing in our church, too. Amen. Amen. up, Cindy, and Diane, your twins. <laughs> I just want to say, I miss, <laughs> I just want to say thank you, Emory, I have missed you.
comes tomorrow. Are you ready? Good morning. <laughs> um, this is a special song this morning. And the one that I was going to sing, the one that he asked me to sing all the time, I couldn't find it. I'm sorry, Suzanne. But uh, Brother Lee Cagle has been dead five years now. And I miss seeing his face. He was a precious man. But uh, we're going to sing something else, and I hope it's just as good as it's for Angie, too, where were you at? And uh, Brother Billy, was, it was for him. Help me sing it now, you know it.
children of Israel trapped at the Red Sea. About that mean old Pharaoh and about his army. Well, there was water all around them. And Pharaoh was on the tracks. Just like that, I tell you, he's on the time, God. Yes, he is. Oh, 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 oh he's a long time, God. Oh, yes, he is. Amen. I'm just go ahead and close the service with that. I mean, I ain't nothing else I need to say this morning. Here. There you go. Thursday was five years that Lee died. And I thank you so much, friend. That was a beautiful gesture. And he loved this church. Thank you. Right on time. Amen. 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 Always. Always. Like I said, I, I'm, a, I'm speechless. <laughs> I just have all to call right now. And <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yes. Hold on just a minute. 
Hold on just a minute so everybody can hear you. We're just going to let it go. Testimony time. My daughter Melinda had been praying for years that her son would reach out to her. She hadn't heard from him. He's been out in the world. You know how that is with young people. But he hadn't called his mama, hadn't reached out to her. Yesterday he called. And it's not good. But he called. Amen. And she told me, she said, Mama, I've been praying that he would just call me. So I know he's okay. So God is on time. It may Amen. be time out for Blake. We're going to pray for him that he'll seek the Lord Amen. before it's too late. But I know it gives Melinda some peace in her heart. She's going to see him today. Amen. Her and Rodney, they're going to go get him, spend some time with him today. And so God is on time. Not our time, but his time. So I just thank the Lord for that. Amen. Anybody else want to share a testimony? Go ahead. Gail, don't give up. It took 52 years for me to surrender to God, living out in the world and just giving in to the devil. But it will happen. Just pray. Mama prayed many, many things. She prayed, and I ended up in jail. But she kept me from dying. But it took 52 years, and God finally, finally got through to this hard head. Excuse me, this hard heart. So don't give up. Just pray. Amen. Amen. Bonnie, honey, we both shared those shoes. I wound up in jail for a few days myself. But you know, there's some pretty good company between Paul and Silas if we went praising the Lord, right? <laughs> I just want to say, Mom sang that song, and uh, yes, I'm partial, but she's a beautiful singer. But my point being, I cannot tell you the times in a week when you even forget about what it was you prayed for or prayed about or whatever, and it shows up. And it's not always when you want it to be, but it's not always good for it to be when you want it to be. You know, it has to wait for some things to fall in the line. And one of my biggest pieces of advice was to be careful what you pray for because you might get it, and I did, and I didn't want it when I got it. thought I did it was awful, so please, you know, think about that. And I just want to praise the Lord for his faithfulness in my family. He's always right on time. He's always right there. I mean, I prayed over gravy, y'all. I mean, you know, he, Mama brought me and my brother up both to know that God is always with us, and he is. And the miracles and the things that he does for us to look after us and take care of us is awesome. He must really, truly love us in a manner that we can't even imagine. Um, but he is always on time, and I praise his holy name for being on time. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else this morning? Don't be shy. You're around family. We love you. If you got a prayer request, if you got a need, it's 10 minutes to 12 right now. You don't want me to preach another hour sermon, do you? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yes, a lot of people used to tell me about when my youngest son was out on drugs and all, they'd say, just let him go. You know, he's not coming back yet. Just let him go. Let him go. I said, never will I keep. I kept praying. I prayed. I prayed. I prayed. And he's, he came back. And he still tells me today, thank you for not giving up on me. Thank you for praying. Because he's got his life straight. He's working. He's doing He's doing good now. And I just say, don't give up. Nobody gives up on anybody. Thank you all for praying. Amen. Is there another this morning? Before we get ready to close here in a little bit. Yes. Children, yesterday I got to spend time with them yesterday. I don't get to see them much, but I thank the Lord that I got to spend time with them yesterday. Thank you. Go ahead and pull that phone. Yeah. There's. You got.
got a testimony this morning. Anybody else before we get ready to close here in just a few minutes? Yes, there you go, Brother Wayne. I don't know if I can get through this. I was 28 years old, unchurched, never been churched. If I went, I went under protest. And uh, everybody give up on me. But my baby brother, But on a Thursday night, he showed up at, at my house with a preacher and uh, led me to the Lord. And it was, it was unreal uh, how he revealed to me, uh, how he emphasized what had happened. Because I've said it so many times, I had a filthy mouth and a super-duper memory. And, and I said, Lord, I got a filthy mouth. You know it. You know the good, the bad, and the ugly about me. And I'm going to need help to get rid of this filthy mouth. And about three weeks later, it's like he slapped me upside the head and said, have you had any problem with it? <laughs> and other things he did to confirm that I was really saved. He, uh, I hated preaching. Hated preachers, you know. You know why they hated Jesus was because he showed them their sin. And that's why I hated preachers, because he preached on everything I was doing, <laughs> you know. And I got up on a Sunday morning after a Thursday night. I want to go to church. My wife said, are you crazy? And I said, I want to go to church. And my, he showed me my want to totally changed. Thank you. Um, I have a daughter in the same position that a lot of these people are talking about in here. Um, she's on drugs, but it's not bad now. I've been praying and praying and praying. I lived a lifetime of drugs. It's bad. I know it's bad, but my lifestyle of the drug, I could maintain. I could go to I could go to work every day. I never missed a day's work. I cared for my children. They had everything they ever wanted, which might have been bad. I don't I don't know at this point, but I do know that I just told God. I said I'm tired of doing this. I don't want to live this lifestyle no more. I want something different. But it took 35 years, and everybody they want me. A lot of people say oh, she's not going to get no better or she's not going to do any better, but I know she's going to do better because God changed me, and I know he'll change her because my mama prayed, and I know she prayed and prayed and prayed. I didn't even see her most of the time when I was high, you know, but I get to see Amber, and she comes home now, and she wasn't coming home, and she stays home. And she's doing better by Turner, and, um, but I'm not going to give up on her because I, what the preacher said a couple of Sundays ago, you go ahead and give up on them and you give them away, and Satan's waiting on him, and he's not getting my daughter, and I know he's not, and I'm, I'm praying for her, and I'd like for everybody else to keep praying for her because I know that there is hope because I'm clean today 14 years, and I'm good, and I know God will do her. Amen. Thank you. I'd like to say I thank the Lord for our children. A lot of you don't even know that we have a son. But we have four kids, and we have eight grandkids, and the ninth one's on the way. But we, we have kids. They're not into drugs. They're good kids. But then, you know, you hear people that's got their kids in bad ways, and you think, well, mine ain't so bad. But still, even when you got good kids, you want them to call home, like she says. And Justin... He has called home more lately. And I hadn't thanked Jesus for it, and I hadn't thanked for 
at Christmas. I even got to talk to Elizabeth, his wife, that hadn't spoke to us probably in over a year. But with that being said, it will be the praising for Justin and stuff. And uh, Stephanie, she asked me to go to Disney World with her this past week. And I'm telling you, when you ride with Stephanie, you hang on. <laughs> I, I done some praying <laughs> all the way to Florida and all the way back home. <laughs> there was one time she even, I thought she was going to hit this car. I said, Lord, help us. She went off to the side. She swung that vehicle right back on the road and we kept getting it. <laughs> but I want to praise the Lord for the week that we've had and you know and I just pray that she sees Jesus in me. I want my kids to see Jesus in me. You know no, they're not here all the time. They go to other churches but we're still proud of our kids and we love them and y'all just pray for us Lord. I mean I know I know Stephanie's got some ways to go, and I know myself, I've got some ways to go to be what Jesus would have me to be, but y'all just pray for our family, and thank you. I got one more. I lost a son. <laughs> and I know it's hard for you parents to go through. And I'm best friend, too. Bless him, Lord. my best friend. We can't give up on the Lord because that sort of thing is going to get us through all this. we got to have a stronger faith and a stronger walk in him because when we're alone, he's the only one there for us, and he'll always be the only one there for you. So please don't ever give up on the Lord because he's not going to give up on you. He'll always be there for you. You just have Amen. to seek him out. Amen. Because there's a, there's a lot of few people in this church that have lost a child. And we know that's the hardest thing you can ever go through because we expect our children to bury us, not them. Not the other way around. But just don't give up on the Lord. Just keep seeking him. Put your faith in him. And it's going to be an easier walk. It's not going to, be, it's not going to quit or hurt or the pain. But you're going to know that you're going to see him again because you got the faith in the Lord. Amen. His promises says that he'll be there for you. So Amen. don't ever give up. Don't ever give up on him because he loves you. Amen. 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 Sometimes we can know that We can't question him because he's got a special thing for them. I guess he's just got a special place for waiting on us. And he just needs them maybe a little sooner than he did us. Amen. God bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Most of your best services ain't when the preacher preaches. It's great testimonies of lives that's been affected. This life's been touched. And as we just mentioned a while ago, don't never give up. Don't never give up on that wayward child. Don't never give up on that wayward husband or wife. Continue to come to the Lord and continue to be a testimony for them. As I was this morning for the message, I was actually looking in Psalms 77 talking about, are you at your Red Sea in life? But the Lord just sort of pointed out Psalms 125 and 1. For his children, those that they that trust in the Lord, what shall be as what a mount, not maybe, but shall be as a mount, Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever and ever. And I tell you this morning on the authority of God's word, wherever you may be at in your life, we still have a God, we still have a Lord that is encamped around us, that is for us, to guide us, protect us. And listen, they can reach the furthest that may be gone. And many of you here this morning, and myself, we've got those in our family that's gone wayward, just like the prodigal son, and it might take 10 years, 20 years, or 30 years, but do never give up on them. Listen, the God can bring them back to their senses and praise the Lord. We should be on that hilltop as that father, looking to him, reflecting Christ's love, and welcoming them back home and not kicking them away. That's what we need. 
Verse 2 goes on and says, And the mountains are round about Jerusalem. In other words, encamped around there. So the Lord is around about his people. And I'm so thankful today, whatever we may endure as God's people, he has surrounded us just like as that mountain is around Jerusalem. So the Lord is round about his people. That's for that one that knows him as his personal Savior, not for the one that's lost. From henceforth, even forever, he goes on in verse 3, Therefore the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Verse 4, Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good, that be good and to them that are, are upright to, in their hearts. In verse 5, the last verse there in this chapter, As for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon Jerusalem. But the key verse I was looking at was that verse 1. That verse 1 there. And I'm so thankful for it. Flip back up there if you would. Verse 1. That they, they that trust in the Lord shall be as a Mount Zion. I'm thankful today that my Mount Zion is found in Jesus Christ. Amen. And as we stand this morning, as Sister Jenny comes at this time, is there something in your heart this morning? Have you gone wayward? Do you have a child that's gone wayward? Listen, come to this old-fashioned altar. Give it all to God. And I promise you, through the fight, through the struggle in your life, through the heartache, many testimonies already we've heard this morning, guess what? God is with you all the way, all the time. Amen. Father, we do thank you once again for today. We thank you for this time, Lord, that you've allowed us to be here this morning, Father. For me, what a great service of testimony through song, through the testimonies we heard of real people with real struggles in their life, Lord, and how you've touched so many lives, Lord. And why is it so many times we'll trust you, Father, for heaven, but we won't trust you right in this time and day in our lives, Lord. Father, I pray now, Father, if there's one here today, Lord, that you are dealing with them, that the sweet Holy Spirit of conviction, Lord, is on them, Father, that need, they need a heavenly Father, Lord. And they can't claim that verse, Lord, that you are their Lord, Father, that you are their Mount Zion, Father. Lord, I pray that you would move. Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. And we ask all us in Christ's name and all of God's children said, Amen. Amen. What page? What page? Page number 257. Softly and tenderly is God dealing with you this morning on something in your life. He's calling. Are you going to ignore it or are you going to come on down here? waiting and he's watching. Calling for you. He's watching for you and me. me. And he's here. He's here. See on the portals he's waiting and watching. Watching As pray. for you. Could have all our deacons come me. down and pray. Some of the ladies of the church come, come down and pray with these ladies.
all of God's children said? Amen. At this time, the deacons would like to present or recommend, and I recommend, we have somebody to come forward this morning that's coming out to watch care. Riley. Come on up, young lady. She's coming out of her watch here, watch care here at the church, and she's coming forth and recommended by the deacons here that she be brought before the church and become an official member here at our church. We love you. We appreciate you. Just know that, and you're special in God's eyes and special in our eyes. Do I hear a motion? We accept her into our church congregation. Second, as always, all in favor? Amen. 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 All opposed? We'll meet you in the parking lot. All right. Okay. <laughs> Please make her welcome, talk to her, come shake her hand, and I appreciate her once again. Another announcement before we close, if you ain't getting our phone tree messages, if you want to receive those, and you don't have to be a member here to keep up with what's going on here with the church, we'll try to get those out. Please stop by here. Let us get your phone number. We're up to like 197 calls now. We want it to get on up there. So if you're not receiving them, please see me or, or, or at someone out front here at the Welcome Center or Mickey, or Ellen, and we'll get that name. You don't have to be a member here. That way you can keep up with what's going on here at the church because there's a lot getting ready to happen and go on here in the next several months. With that said, all hearts cleared. Remember, services tonight at uh, 6 o'clock, choir practice at 4.30. Please, for those, I'd love to have y'all join the choir. Please come out for that. If there's nothing else, all hearts cleared. Brother John Pascal, if you would, close us in prayer. <laughs> 